Alrighty, Craig and Emma, thank you very much. Your full weather forecast brought to you by Crosby Sports Shop with a large supply of ammo and stock, custom Damascus knives, fishing supplies of all kinds, concealed weapons classes, and a full line of Dragonfly UV tackle, plus the latest and ultraviolet tackle. Call today. All right, let's get things rolling out there this morning. Some alerts in effect, a winter storm warning, and a winter weather advisory both posted until about 8 a.m. for significant accumulating snow and travel issues at times, too. That'll make things very tough in a few spots. We're watching all of this right here. That'll last until 8 a.m. as we head towards through Wednesday. So travel will be an issue later today and lasting through Wednesday morning. On top of that, closer toward the shoreline, no winds will be an issue as well. We have storm warnings posted till 1 a.m. along the coastline right about in here. And along some of the coastlines right about and near where the islands are, at least until 8 p.m. Wednesday, gale warnings also posted. Here's the wave heights right now at around 8 to 10 feet, according to the buoys out there. I'm sure we'll see significant increases in the wave heights according to this map, especially as that area of low pressure that nor'easter continues to track in. But here's a look at things right now. So we're watching the precipitation that's developing, and it's not moving in very quickly. The system is slow to move. We're watching it moving in from the west, going toward the east very slowly. It's going to kind of maneuver and kind of linger around for just a while. But once it starts to move out of here, we'll soon be done with this system. Let's zoom things out and give you the bigger picture. Here's the nor'easter right about in there. It's going to move to the north and east and kind of make a little bit of a loop before it starts to track away from us. Some uncertainty in the forecast still could significantly change some of the snow totals, but we will see some kind of snow before we're all finished up. Let's break this all down with future cast. Increasing wind and chances for snow arriving this afternoon by about 3 o'clock or so. We'll keep that snow rolling. And then we'll be watching for the snow again as we head towards Wednesday, but not as widespread. There'll be some breaks for that as well, but blowing snow will, will be possible in a few areas as that area low pressure moves away from us. By Wednesday night, a lot of the snow will start to taper off. And by Thursday, a mixture of clouds and sun could be the possibility, so things will start to look a little bit calmer. Here's the general idea, though. Maybe that around 4 to 8 inches in a few spots before we're all finished up here but from Bangor off towards the north and east. And then further off towards the south and west, higher totals at around 9 to 10 inches possible and maybe some higher totals off towards the north as well. So we'll need to keep an eye on this as it does develop a decent snowfall on the way for us. So your forecast for today, mid-30s, mostly cloudy, some afternoon snow. Northeast wind gusting up to about 35 miles per hour. By tonight, 30 degrees, snow and blowing snow on the way. The northeast wind gusting up to around 40 miles per hour at times. For tomorrow, upper 30 snow showers and blowing snow again. The north wind getting up to about 30 miles per hour. All righty, here's a look at your extended forecast brought to you by Crosby Sports Shop. Thursday, partly cloudy, highs in the lower 40s. Rain and snow showers back in the forecast on Friday with highs in the lower 40s. That's also St. Patrick's Day. By Saturday, rain and snow showers again, highs in the lower 40s.